Hi guys! Today I'm going to be updating my Jenny binder with all this stuff and kind of moving some stuff around. My little plushy dolls are not going in the binder obviously but I still wanted to show them off because they are new and they are cute as all hell. The way I kind of organized it for now is I've done pre-order photo cards first. So I do have more pre-order cards in here which would be the album merchandise photo card which goes here. And then um, this slot here is for the new light stick photo card, which I should get in a group order. And then this one is for the pre-order photo card for the album from YG Select. It's thinner, which is weird. And I think it's taller. Yeah, which is really weird shape and size. But YG loves to make everything weird different sizes. The third Katon for you photo card that I was missing which finally arrived also in a group order and then I'm gonna make a new page because I got her with drama photo cards I did a little group order for these these are really really beautiful in person I guess you can't really see the holographic effect on camera but it's really pretty so I'm going to put these in a BCW and I'll probably redo the pages that are not in these BCW ones but I'll do that later off camera and that's it for that I think those are the only photo cards that I have. I have new sleeves for my solo photo cards, which I'm going to put here. This is a good spot. And I started to collect the solo limited edition photo cards after they restocked the limited edition solo. And I even made custom sleeve pages for these photo cards. So this is basically a BCW three pocket thing split in half and i have completed her regular solo photo cards these five photo cards and we have six pockets here so i'm not sure what i will put in the last pocket but for now we're just gonna leave it empty and i think it's going to be this pocket here maybe i'll just make a little filler or i'll find something related to solo that i can put in there i think i'm still missing solo pre-order items which is kind of annoying because i don't think i'm gonna find them anymore i was really hoping that maybe yg could reprint the solo pre-order stuff i made another page for the limited edition solos and I believe I have four, so I need to make something to put behind these so that you can actually see the photo itself, like that. Um, so one of my solo photo cards, they put the plastic part in backwards, and I thought, I don't know, it was kind of cool that it was unique. So I decided to keep the one that they made incorrectly, because when I bought my six copies, I got the same photo card six times. Yeah, so this one, she's here. You can't see her, but she's here on the right. And then this one, she's on the left. And I thought that was cool. So I'm going to keep that one. I could probably sell the other one. I'm okay with buying because then I can just resell the one that I have for the same price. And just, you know, think of it as a trade. I'm really, really happy that I was able to complete these. Or that I will be able to, hopefully. Because I never thought I would. Because they were so expensive. And kind of still are. I think it looks better this way because this is like right on the edge. And that kind of bothers me. So I think this looks nice i'm really happy about this page these are going in a similar page so yeah you definitely have to put them in that way and if anybody needs a six pocket thingy made just let me know i love how these fit perfectly in here these are gonna go in the back with the rest of the dvd package stuff this works okay actually i bought the chapter one photo set thingy that has like these really large photos which obviously is not going to fit in my binder this is like literally a art portfolio folder that i use for my um taming a4s and in the back i also have the pre-order a4 from k-tone for you for the album and i'm gonna put this in here beautiful and then i was also able to choose my bias for the little voice film thingy that looks like this and it has a little qr code so i'll just stick that in there for now and i think that will look fine and then i have this huge postcard as well that i got which i've been wanting for a while and i think the best pocket for this in a two pocket page i don't really know how i feel yet about putting stuff on the back i like to be able to see it just you know on the front this is a really, really beautiful postcard. I love the moon shirt. These three pocket pages. I could have put these on the bottom like this, right? These are also YG items. This little one would fit perfectly in here. And this is the same photo shoot, obviously, 
but I think it was a different, yeah, it's a different event, but they're both YG postcards. This fits perfectly in here. I love when that happens, and I think I'm going to put this actually, um, I originally had this on the front, so I'm just going to leave it on the front for the sake of consistency. So I'm going to put these YG postcards up here in the front of the binder these would also go here and we have three exactly so i'm gonna do this one and then in the back i will put these two in like this and these are just random yg items and then it'll go like that and then we have these two postcards from welcoming collection so we gotta go back here again i should move this page up here because this is all 2020 summer and then this is 2020 welcoming so i'm going to take this one out put this one in first and then i'm gonna put this one in here and then this one on the back like this and then i believe we're gonna get 2021 welcoming collection any day now and then i'll start to plan how i'm going to put stuff in you know what i might do maybe i'll scan a picture from this photo shoot and use that as the cover and just like decorate it and then have it printed out at like staples or something but the thing is like i wanted to also measure the front pocket of the binder so that i can have it fill up the whole front so now i'm just gonna do another little quick flip through so this is random yg stuff on the front and then we have pre-order photo cards, K-Town for you, YG pre-order photo cards with these K-Town cards. I think I try to do them in chronological order here. Yeah, here's going to be the light stick card, so that's not going to be an empty slot. I don't really like empty slots in my binder, to be honest. I feel like it's a waste of space. And then this is going to be more pre-order cards for whatever comes next. And then this is album cards. And this here is just, you know, kind of is a filler, but it's like an official thing. And it's from Kill This Love era-ish, so... I think it fits well there and then these are also kill this love and i think i'm gonna try to custom make a sleeve for these because i feel like i'm wasting a lot of space here all right and then her solo stickers and then solo limited edition postcards limited edition photo cards which need some kind of white backing and then regular photo cards and something here album postcards from solo from how you like that her photo cards from how you like that and from the album oh you know what i could put something from the vinyl in there um her album postcards limited edition photo book pre-order for solo summer diary 2019 i still need the other postcard this postcard is so freaking hard to find i don't know why and then this is more random yg stuff this is an american photo card for how you like that i still don't know why they did that but anyways and then this is DVD stuff, so this is like the tour DVD, postcards, welcoming collection and summer diary, continuation of summer diary, blah blah blah, and then the stuff that you guys basically already saw, and if you have any questions about what sleeves I used or the sizing for anything, just let me know. And then I have her Japanese stuff back here, which is kind of a small collection, but I'm expecting they'll release either how you like that Japanese version or the album Japanese version. You know what's gonna happen, so I'll save these slots for that. These are the Japanese tour DVD photo cards. These are the Japanese album photo cards, along with this. And that's pretty much it. And I really hope that when I do my next Jenny Binder video, I will have a cover for you all. Right now, I just have this tiny, how you like that, Jenny? She's baby. All right, and that is everything for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed, blah, blah, blah. But mostly, just thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.